Albert Einstein once said that if the bees disappeared, humans would have only four years left to live. So, if one of the most intelligent people ever put it to such a destructive demise, why are we not acting when bees worldwide are disappearing at an alarming rate? We, as people, are being ignorant to such an important issue. Since 1900, the UK has lost 13 species of bee, and in the last five years, the honeybee population has dropped by one third. If Einstein's threat does not concern you, this next statistic certainly will. One third of all food is pollination dependent. Do you want your children to live in a world without bees, a world where hunger is a threat for the rich and the poor? We spoke to you, the public, to highlight just how blind people are to this serious issue. 70% of all fruit and vegetables are unsustainable without bee interjection. What do you think we could actually eat if we lost this vast amount of food? Probably nothing because vegetables go in most me meals. Well, based on that fact, I don't think we'd be able to survive very long without bees. Um, that's... I didn't know that that was the fact. Um, so I think we should probably be protecting the bees a little bit more than we are. I, I didn't realise it was that high, to be honest. That's 70% uh, 70, 70 did you say? That's, that's quite worrying, isn't it, really? Um, yeah, I think if we lost that amount of resources, I think, I mean, I think we'd really, I think we'd really struggle, to be honest. What is killing the bees? Firstly, like many creatures facing extinction, the bees have suffered from a severe loss of habitat. They cannot function pollinating the same crop over and over. Since World War II, the UK has lost 97% of the wildflower meadows, a source of pollen bees heavily rely on. This has left them with little to no habitat. We need to be more considerate and build it into their homes. Burrow mites are another major threat to bees. They've played our already struggling friends for years. Burrow mites infect the hive and infect the unborn, feeding off them and the live bees. This weakens the bee, and when the unborn bee is born, it will be weak and have a high chance of having defects. Deformed wings is just one of the many defects that are prominent once the burrower have plagued the hive. The bee will never develop a complete immune system and in turn be more susceptible to disease. We must stop this from continuing. One of the bees' biggest threats in recent time has been humans. For years, humans have used a type of pesticide, highly toxic to bees, and bugs. These types of pesticides, neonectoids, are a severe threat to bees that attack an already weakened immune system. It affects their ability to navigate, as well as reducing fertility. This information was too significant to ignore, and in April of 2018, they banned the use of them within the EU. This was a huge step in the right direction, and we must continue to save the bees. Even if you believe we would survive without bees, it would be a nightmare for the economy, and not just the UK. Last year, bees contributed £400 million in the UK alone, and the service of bees and other pollinators are worth £691 million a year. It would cost the UK £1.8 billion a year to employ people to do the work bees do for free. It is mind-blowing. That would put the already struggling NHS in a critical position. We spoke to Henry Baxville, a commercial beekeeper, to get a different outlook on the issue. So our first question for you, Henry, is what can you tell us about the decline within the bee population? Uh, so I can really primarily only speak for the honeybee population because that's, a, uh, that's my field. Um, the decline, yes, we don't have any feral bees living anymore, or at least not for any length of time, which is a, a great shame and a great loss of pollination. Um, obviously around here where I've got several hundred hives there's, there's not a shortage of honeybees but that's primarily because they need to be looked after and that's the, uh, that's the main difference. What are feral bees? So feral bees are bees that live in the wild so they're not kept in hives by, by beekeepers, they're bees that live in trees and things so for instance if you, a swarm of bees go off from a hive and they, they find a tree to live in They'll live there for probably a couple of years, two or three years, um, but after that time, the, um, the, the particular we suffer from the varroa mite will build up in the hive, and that will eventually it will kill the kill the hive. So that's the that's the main cause of, uh, of 
loss of loss of wild bees. Interesting. If the bees continue to disappear, how would it affect everyday life for the average person? Uh, yeah. So, as Einstein said, if you don't have any bees, you don't have any uh, any food. Will will starve. So. Um, so they're, they're an essential pollinator. There's no question about it. So, so I move my bees from the from all the different crops. They also raid the field beans, and throughout the year. So, and the farmers reckon they get about a 30 to 40 percent better yield on the crops. So, bees mean food, as well as being an essential link in the, the whole chain of biodiversity. So, how can the public actually prevent bees from getting extinct? What can they do within their everyday lives which yeah, will help so, bees? So, without question, the most important thing is to come and buy local honey because that is how you support the local beekeeper and that's how you get the most bees in your environment. Um, but I might be a bit biased. But uh, the, the other things are obviously um, giving them forage, so plenty of wildflowers. Uh, people are busy at the moment, busy cutting their verges every, everywhere and really just leave the verges so all the dandelions flower so they've, they've got a bit of natural forage and then when they finish flowering then is the time to cut them. So it's just think a bit more about, about your natural environment and, and flowers and, and it's, it's food for bees. The bee symbolises resilience, however, we are putting them in a dangerous position. Their resilience cannot last forever, it is your future too.